Yeah, we're lucky, really. Your family. Yeah, we're lucky, yeah. really, because my mother-in-law is, le is lesbian, and so we always have just had this ongoing dialogue with our children. So if they were gay, they would just would be, would almost mm. be seamless. But my, my husband really struggled as a child with his mum being gay. He found it really hard, you know, and he was he was living in Notting Hill Gay, you know, in the 80s. You know, he's only 40, 44, and yet there was enormous prejudice to him mm. at school, and he said it really ruined his school life. How old you know, was he, he did really everything. Thing to try and keep it. Oh, he was like six or seven, six, I think. Yeah. But but um, he he went cool. he went through enormous strain and stress to to make sure that nobody ever found out. He said, mm. you know, it was his greatest fear that anyone would find out. And then of course somebody did find out. And then they made they made his life hell. At but isn't it wonderful how far ago? we've come? Because yeah. we we sit around the table. We've got teenagers in the house, and it is absolutely not a thing. No, it's not it's a thing. No, no. nobody. But Kira, <laughs> Kira and her friends <laughs> chat about that? it, and it's, no. you know. Oh, my friend's gay or whatever, and they're not bothered. It's just... Yeah. It's young, young people, and I find it's grandchildren. Great. They just you know, talk about it just like the norm. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. Exactly. Well, the first thing to say is if they tell you is, well, I love you. Yeah, exactly. whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly.